Hi, I'm Jamie Lee Grace and I'm going to tell you how to protect yourself against the sun. Green People have long been one of my favourite companies and I'm particularly impressed by their excellent sun protection range. Now, you know my take on sun protection. Best of all, cover up if you can or stay in the shade. But for the times when you really do need to apply sun creams, you need to opt for the most natural that you can find. Green Peoples are made with 80% organic ingredients and they're really effective. So you can buy a nice big kit like this or they also do sample sizes, which is really, really useful. Now, I especially love the Green People oil range. They've got one called Face the Sun SPF 15. Most sun creams feel, I think, a bit too heavy for your face, but this one is really nice and light, uh, and they make a trial size of that as well, which is great for popping in your handbag or your pocket in case the sun comes out and you weren't expecting it. Um, for my kids, I use the Green People No Scent Children's Sun Lotion, and again, they do trial sizes. So the range is really extensive. There's lots of options, and there's even an excellent fake tan. The difficulty, as you know, with sun protection is the confusion between the UVA rays and the UVB rays. Which ones are harmful? Which do we actually need? Now, I caught up with Green People's sun care expert, Ian Taylor, at the Natural and Organics product show, and this is a guy who really knows his stuff. Yeah. Ian, um, the sun has got a bad press in recent years, and we know that years and years ago, heliotherapy was you know, the healing power of the sun, and people actually used to sunbathe. But of course, now it's a different story, and we've got an ozone layer to think about. Many of us just cover up all year round, or then we go and lie in the sun for two weeks, and we use conventional, in many cases, many people use conventional sun creams which are absolutely chock full of chemicals um, and it's all a very bad idea. So give me your take on it, you're the expert, you're the formulator, just tell us tell us a little bit about sun protection generally. The first thing to realise is everyone needs some sun exposure, we need to manufacture vitamin D. Which are many of us are lacking in of course. Absolutely, there are now cases of uh, children being reported for rickets back in Europe, crazy. Um, the other thing which is important is sunlight triggers the release of serotonin which is the feel good, feel good factor, factor. Yeah. Um, so if we protect ourselves completely from sunlight we're missing out on vitamin D and we're missing out on a substance which our body produces to make us feel good about ourselves. UVA is in two main parts, UVA and UVB. Sun lotions protect primarily against UVB radiation, that's what the SPF factor tells you. It's important to realise that an SPF of say 15 is already filtering out 96% of UVB rays. It's only 4% getting through. So going for much higher levels of SPF isn't giving you much extra benefit. The worry with the very high levels of SPF is that they encourage people to stay out in the sun longer. They because they think if I've got SPF 50, I can stay out five times as long. Yeah, and they're not visibly burning. But the UVA light will still be getting through, and it's the UVA rays which cause long-term <laughs> cell damage. Between, say, 12 and 3 o'clock in Mediterranean countries, the sun is very, very hot. If you haven't acclimatised to it, you haven't already built up your own natural tan, which is our own defence against the UVA light, then you will burn, even with a high-protection sun factor. Build exposure slowly. Limit it to half an hour at a time for the first few days. Our own suntans start to develop about three days after you're first exposed to sunlight. So take it easy those first three days. Use a good quality sun lotion, which offers UVA and UVB protection. So look at yours. So, okay, so you've got a 15 and a, and a 25 here. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is, these are 82% certified organic. That's incredible. Yeah, we're very proud of them. You, you really should be because, you know, in my first book, In Perfectly Natural Woman, um, my Amazon number one bestseller, uh, I asked several people in there, my Imperfectly Natural colleagues, what they put on their skin, uh, what sun cream they put. And a lot of them said, cancer in a bottle, no thank you. Um, because many conventional sun creams do contain really hideous chemicals. Yeah. So, so, how have you managed to do this? What's, what's in this? How, how have you got the sun protective effect to be able to do it so naturally? The sun protection comes from two main ingredients. Titanium dioxide, which is a natural earth mineral that bounces or reflects sunlight away from the skin. And an extract uh, made from cinnamic acid that comes from the leaves of the cinnamon tree that uh, reacts with sunlight to convert it into heat. It renders it harmless then. Uh, and those two natural ingredients give good broad spectrum UVA and UVB protection. This is fantastic, and for people with children, who, I know you've got uh, children's organic babies, right? Yes, yeah. Babies. So again, people with children often think, well, it has to be a, a complete total block for children. What's your view on that? Again, children need sunlight exposure just as, as adults do, but in small amounts, moderate amounts. 
keep them clothed in the heat of the day, and a sun light hat, clothing, of course, sun yeah. hat, or brimmed hat. Um, if they go swimming or splashing around in the water, make sure they reapply sun lotion as soon as they come out. Because five or ten minutes unprotected sun exposure for young skin can actually do some serious damage. So keep applying the sun lotion. That's the other thing. It's very important to keep applying. Sun lotions will lose their effect as, to, as the day progresses. And we normally recommend every two to three hours as a minimum to reapply, and always after swimming or bathing. Ian, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. This is Ian from Green People. Thank you. So a big thanks to Ian Taylor from Green People, one of my absolute favourite 100% natural companies. You can buy them in all independent health stores, Whole Foods, places like that, Fresh and Wild, and of course online, greenpeople.co.uk.